Welcome to another video on using Canvas. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to use question banks within quizzes. And here I am at the dashboard of my Canvas account. And the first thing I want to do is go to the course you want to put the question bank in. So I'm going to choose my sandbox course. And once I'm here, I'm going to click on Quizzes in the left-hand navigation bar. And from this screen, I'm going to click on the Plus Quiz button in the upper right-hand corner. And from this screen, I'm going to choose the details that I want for my quiz. So let's just go down this screen. Instead of calling it unnamed, let's give it a name. I'm going to give some instructions to the students. I'm going to make this a graded quiz so it will show up on their calendar and so that I can kind of keep track of it. I can also make it an ungraded or practice quiz. If I make it a practice quiz, it does not show up on their calendars and they have to go into uh, quizzes on their screen in order to be able to see it. So, oops, not a survey, but a quiz. And I can assign it to different groups or I can uh, choose how I want. Now, I don't want to shuffle answers because this is not multiple choice, so it really doesn't matter whether I click that or not, but I do want to give it a time limit. Three minutes, multiple attempts, and again, I have a choice of uh, how I want to grade this, whether I want to take an average of all their attempts, uh, their last attempt, or just take the highest that they get. So I can let them see their responses or not. Uh, let, I can tell when they want to, when they can see the correct answers. I do want to show one question at a time, and I want to lock the questions after answering so that once they've given a response, uh, say 3 times 6 is 18, they can't go back to that question. They just have to move on. And again, because this is um, a time test. Now, I could require an access code, but I don't think I want to do that at this point. I can assign it to everyone, or I can assign it to a group of students who might be struggling with this particular concept. Once I put a due date on it, then it will show up in their calendar by leaving the available blank uh, and from, from and until, then they will always have access to it. And then once I get this part done, I will go back up to the top of the screen. From here, uh, I go to the questions tab. Once I get to the questions tab, I'm going to click on new question group. I can name this, perhaps I want to name it Multiplication Test 1. I want to pick, and I can choose any amount I want, up to the number of questions in the bank, which in this bank there are 64. But let's begin with 25 and one point of question. Link to a question bank. I want to choose that Multiplication uh, Facts Bank. So I'm going to go here, select Bank. Create group, and from this point it's going to pull 25 random questions, and it's going to be random each time they take it. So if, if they uh, decide that uh, they didn't do well and they want to take it again, it's going to pull 25 different questions the next time so they can't memorize an order. Uh, from here, I would just click Save and Publish, and now I can check my details and see how it is assigned to each student. And here's a quick look from a student dashboard. You can see since I, since I assigned it as quiz, it shows up in their to-do list. Take multiplication quiz one. You only have three minutes. Take the quiz. Canvas is going to tell them that once you have submitted an answer, you will not be able to change it later. You will not be able to view the previous question. Begin. So I click on Begin, the quiz comes up, 2 times 2 is 4, Enter, 
9 times 2 is 18. Go next. Uh, now, one of the nice things to see is over on the right-hand side here, it does give a countdown bar for the students so they can see uh, how much time they have remaining to take the quiz. If they choose to, they can hide that bar. If it bothers them, they get nervous or whatever. Uh, but it is a good thing to see uh, the countdown bar. A couple of things to keep in mind as students are taking this test. You'll notice now I'm down to 20 seconds. Uh, number one, it does take a moment or two for these to register. So time-wise, you might want to give them a little bit of extra time other than the three minutes. When they do get down to the end of the test, they will see a warning pop up. Three, two, one, time is up. So it's going to uh, submit my results. And if I uh, wait for it to get to the end, I still can't go back. I, there's no way I can say no, so it submits it for me if I choose not to say that's okay. And then they can, if you've selected this option, they can see their results, scroll down and look at what questions they might miss uh, or which ones they got correct. And if they want to, they can take the, quest, uh, the quiz again. Now notice that question one the first time was two times two. When I take the quiz again, I get a different question because it's just pulling random questions from the question bank. Hope you find this helpful and something that you can use with your students. And we'll see you next time.